All right, welcome to segment 10 of the Conquer Your Photos workshop. I'm really excited about this one, um, in part because of the topic. It's not just photos, why stories matter. Um, that's part of why I'm excited, but I'm also excited because we have some guests, um, a guest speaker to, to teach us about this. So photos alone don't preserve our memories, right? Photos have stories. We have stories. And so we are going to learn a little bit about, about stories and why they matter by um, from Heidi Arvey and um, in spirit, Candy May, who is sick. <laughs> Both are from Nicholas Fern Storybooks. So I want to just quickly introduce them and then um, let Heidi share the magic. So Candy is here on the right, Heidi is on the left, and they have a passion for preserving life stories, in part because they have seen its life-changing impact for themselves. Candy's grandpa, Nicholas, and Heidi's grandma, Fern, have stories that now live on for, gen for future generations. And Candy and Heidi have been preserving and promoting life stories and making a difference for over 20 years. So I just want to thank them for both being here, especially Candy in her <laughs> sickened state, and Heidi for um, sharing with us um, a little bit about Nicholas Verne's storybooks and teaching us why stories matter so much, why our photos are incomplete without their stories. So I'm going to stop the screen share and we will get to um, learn straight from Heidi. Thank you. You are so welcome. All right. So um, Jennifer, thank you for what you do. And you oh. are such a champion for stories and photos. And I love that you are always helping and teaching and showing people what they can do with their photos. So thank you. Thank you for asking um, us to be here and again, candy sick. So I'm going to be be <laughs> running the show here for a little bit. Sounds good. Um, back in the year 2000, um, I met Candy, and I've loved photos my whole life. I've been a scrapbooker. I remember in fifth grade, I got my first camera, one of those Lee clicks that had the old film that was like the, you know? Yeah, yeah. In. I thought that was the greatest thing ever. And I, <laughs> I scrapbooked, um, and I didn't do a lot of journaling, maybe wrote somebody's names, but mainly it was about the decorations and all the cuteness. Mm -hmm. Um, and then in the year 2000, I met Candy and her mom and the, their friend, Chris Crandall, and they were doing this concept called storybooking. And this was, hadn't even like, didn't exist, right? One off right. storybooks, not a thing. Like there was no books anywhere. And I was just fascinated. I thought this is brilliant. Like you can actually put the story that goes with the photos and have it bound into a book, hardbound book, like a nice right. book. Right. Um, and so that was my first introduction to really the importance of stories. And I thought, if I had this of my grandparents, how cool would that be if I would have, you know? And yeah. so it really got my will spinning and I fell in love with the concept. And I was the activity director at an assisted living center at the time. And one of the ladies there, her name was Karma. And I had asked her if we could write her story. And she said, no, I haven't done anything. Nobody would read it. And I said, well, sure they would. Let's write your story. And she just kept politely declining. Right. And so... Um, her daughter helped me write the story. And this is when I really started to figure out why story mattered. And we did the storybook. We we wrote the story of her life in a really simplified version. And when I gave her that book um, and we sat there and I read page by page to her, she said things like, I used to look like that. I did do that. Oh, we went there. Oh, I remember that. And her life literally came back to her. Like it was just magic. That's and her confidence increased and she was like, she remembered who she was, right? Yeah. So story that taught me, um, story can, can give us confidence. Mm -hmm. It can, it shows that we matter, that we have value, that we have purpose, that we have meaning. And, um, so the next day her daughter called me and said, um, karma wants a copy of that book for all of her grandkids. She wants them to know Aww. that karma. Yeah, not not the karma that they come visit who can't hardly see and it's really hard to get around and walk. Um, and from that moment, 20 plus years ago, I've had that burning desire of like, this is my mission. And um, so the stories, karma's book, right? She could have stacks of photos. She's since passed away and her grandkids could have maybe a picture of her on the wall. Um, and maybe know her name, but they all have her book. 
And 20 years after the fact that I did her book, I stopped in at her daughter's house to just randomly be like, hey, how are you guys? And yeah. she, the first thing she said to me was, thank you so much for doing Karma's book. She said it literally gave her her life back. And she said her grandkids read that book all the time. They know Karma, even though they've never met her. Oh, how I wish we had one for my dad. Oh. Um, the power of the stories that go with those photos are priceless, right? Now her kids yeah. have her for advice, the things that were important to her that is passed on. And research shows that by passing on those stories and when the next generation knows their grandparents' stories, you may have already touched on this, um, but they have less depression, less anxiety. They feel connected. They, they belong to something bigger. And we all know yeah. that the world needs that desperately today, right? The, the Absolutely. Youth of, the, of the world today needs some positive role models. And through story and our, our grandparents, great-grandparents, we can use their stories to influence the next generation by writing the stories that go with those photos. Yes. So, 100%. I love um, Karma's story. I love just I that know, whole, right? like, because that's for real. Like that is, that is so valuable. And so, and, and she's like, oh, I'm, I'm nobody or whatever. We're all that. We're all Karma, you know? Exactly. I love that. Everybody feels like I haven't done anything. Why right. would it be significant? But really everybody everybody's lives matter. And depending on what, whether you're a superstar or whether you're, you know, you just stay right. home and, and, and do your passion. It doesn't matter. Everybody influences lives in their day-to-day -day life. Right. And, exactly. and helping people see that is powerful. And it's through story that we do that. Um, Absolutely. And story, that. the other thing that I love, stories or storybooks. Um, I love, for me, I'm a very visual. So just the words on a page, it, it doesn't sink yeah. in. But if you add photos to it, for me, it's magic because then right. I, I get the photo, it sinks in and I have this, this visual, but um, storybooks or stories really have the power to bring back the past yes, and to preserve the present and to shape the future. With stories, we literally can help our, our children create the life that they want through story and through the narrative that we tell ourselves and yeah. the photos that we have, right? We have boxes and boxes of photos, especially of older generations. We're like, what are we going to do with those? Every photo right. has a story. And when we connect the photo to the story, then there's emotion, there's connection, and there's this, this instant bond, um, that you don't get just when you see the, the picture. Right. Um, okay. How am I doing on time? So, Oh, I'm, the, no, I'm just listening to you. Um, yeah, you're okay. good. So the, and it's not just karma story, right? right. Um, everybody who um, who has their story done, who feels like they're not important when that, when that story's done, they realize, okay, like I, I, I am important, which is super yeah. powerful. We've had, um, a gentleman who had at the same lunch table at his assistant center for years, never branched out, only talked to the same ladies. And after he got his book done, he started going to other tables and he started talking to other people and his confidence. He was like, I can go meet other people because I'm Ron, right? Like he remembered, I'm the cowboy and I'm, and I'm, that's awesome. So we've had, yeah, amazing experiences. And so oh, from good. that, we've been doing this for 20 plus years and we've really discovered that everybody says, oh, that's so great. Yes. I want to do that for my mom. Yes. We're going to totally write my mom's story or my grandma's story. And then what happens? Like life happens. People are busy. They have their own lives, yeah. their own jobs, their own children, and it doesn't happen. And then they, you know, then they pass away and they say, I wish we would have done that. Yeah. I wish we would have taken the time to do that. Yeah. Um, and so what Candy and I have done, we started Nicholas Fern. So like Jennifer said, that's Candy's grandpa's name and my grandma's name. And we did their storybooks for them 20 plus years ago before either of us had children. And we did those books knowing someday we would have children and we wanted our children to know our grandparents the way that yeah. we did. And so now she has four kids. I have four kids and they know, they know Nicholas and they know Fern. We read their books on their birthday every year. We talk about them. And so the hope with Nicholas Fern is to provide that for everybody to help connect yeah. the generations through the power of story. So we offer, offer a full service, um, service storybooks that we have advocates that go in. Uh, we have a training program. We train advocates and they go in and they'll interview people, capture their story. Then we send the story off to writers and then the writers will professionally write the story. We have designers who will put the book together together. We do videos, so we've incorporated the, the fun technology piece now where we can record them and put QR codes in the book um, oh, and, and capture that. Cool. Yeah, it's so fun. 
And so we really, um, we want to focus too on people's individual gifts and talents, right? Some people yeah. you say, go interview the elderly and they panic like, oh, no way. Like I cannot do that. And then there's other people who are like, yes, I would love that more than anything to just go yeah. visit and connect and help them realize that they're important. Those are the people that um, we have for our advocates, the people who love it, who are passionate yeah. about it. Um, and then the people who love writing, the people who are excellent at writing, those are who we send it off to have write. Everybody has different gifts and talents. And so we want to help moms who are busy, moms who need extra money, moms who just feel like, you know, they're empty nesters and they're like, what do I do now? You yeah. know, I've been a mom my whole life and now, now what do I do? Yeah. And so we offer opportunities for people to be able to use the talents and gifts that they love to help bless the lives of others. And in return, it, it really blesses our lives. We're the ones that are blessed by making those connections and building those relationships. So, yeah, I love that. And I love that you're talking so much about connections because I feel like that's really what it's about and, and being able to, you know, make sure that every voice, every person, every life is heard and seen and remembered. Um, it, there's just, there's just nothing like that. There's just nothing like that. I made my mom's life storybook, which I read because she's gone. I read on her birthday and on mother's day. And it is powerful. Like it's been healing for me. And so there's just so much, um, in what you're saying, so much power and such gifts. And I love that you said healing because yeah, that's so true in, in the process of them sharing their story. It's very yeah. healing, right? Right. There's a lot of parts right. of their life that were really hard, mm-hmm. um, and stories that they're not sure they want to share. And what we help yeah. people do is instead of focusing on how hard and how ugly a situation might have been, we really focus on how did that change you? How did that help right. you become the person you are today? Right. And then they realize, wow, from that challenge, it was actually, actually. a blessing because now they, <laughs> and so they can see things differently and realize that that's what we want to teach the next generation, right? They had yeah. something hard and they became yeah. something amazing because of the hard and, and they can too, when the next generation faces those struggles and their heartaches and those things that they're not sure that they can, you know, go on, they could read yeah. that story and be like, yep, I can yeah. do it. I did it. So, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love what you guys do. Thank you for taking some time to um, share that with us. Do you? You are so welcome. If you, so I know you're looking for advocates to help write the stories, writers, interviewers, you know, all of that. What is the best way for people to get in touch with you? Um, they can email us at info at nicholasfern.com. Okay. I am going to just write that down to make sure that I get that right because I'm going to put it in the comments of this video recording. So info at nicholasfern.com. Yep. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Of course. Anything you want to add? We have a couple minutes. If there are any questions, type them in the chat box. I just, I, I really appreciate you sharing this because I feel like sometimes we, and feel free to interrupt me if you have questions. I'm just saying something I think. So if you have questions, interrupt. Um, but I just feel like sometimes we, especially when we're preserving our pictures, we just feel like we just, we get them in a book or we throw them in digital storage or like whatever. And then just they're there, but they're just really not the same without the story. They're just really not, they're just not worth as much. And so I, I I just love your focus on the story and how much that is who we are and not just the photos we take. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. If there aren't any questions, 